Hello bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be checking some modeling features inside 3ds Max 2022. We are mostly going to talk more about the Smart Extrude feature that was added in the latest version. If you would like to see more tutorials about 3D modeling and especially game art, subscribe and follow my channel. Now let's start. So I already have a cube here that I created that is just a simple cube and it has uh, meter by meter uh, dimensions and as well it has uh, five segments. So I'm just going to convert it to editable poly so that we have the ability to use the smart extrude feature. There are two ways to be able to use it, either convert it to editable poly or add the editable poly modifier. So whichever of those two you prefer, both of them are working perfectly fine. First thing is that now if I go to select polygons, hold shift, click somewhere and drag it, we will be able to do selections like those. So this helps quite a lot of making fast selections and as well you can click with the first mouse button and continue your selection from there. So for example if I would like to uh, select let's say those polygons over here, I could just hold shift, click like this and you can see it makes it very fast and easy for us to select. Now. The Smart Extrude works while we are holding Shift, we already have a selection and then we move the object either in or out. So if I hold it out, you will see that we are going to extrude this portion over here of our asset. Remember that the old versions of 3ds Max, it was not actually extruding, but the polygons that we had selected were actually duplicating and we were creating copies of them. Now this is not already the case, instead we are doing these smart extrusions. Why they are smart? Because if I select over here and after that extrude it inwards, you will see that it cuts through the geometry and works similar to booleans. This is awesome if you would like to create more complex geometries and assets that you're working for your projects. Also, if I select something and after that go all the way through the asset, you will see that it will actually create a hole. This is also an amazing feature as we don't really need to make booleans and also the topology and everything seems to be working very nice. So once we have the selection, we need to activate our snap tool and then make sure that we have vertices selected. Then we just go into our corner, hold shift and go down. You can see that now we have everything cut it out correctly. And the best part is that here on the edges, you can see that the vertices were actually welded, so you don't need to do anything else. Max is creating a perfectly good geometry for you. Another thing that I wanted to show you is how you can create as well bridges in between more complicated geometries. So for example, if I have a cylinder over here and I'm just going to use 24 sides, here I'll put it on one and inside let's make it four. I'm going to duplicate this one here on the top. Let's assign just some gray material so everything is a little bit more visible. And now I'm going to convert it to editable poly, attach both of them so that they are together inside the same object. And the way that you would bridge before something was if we select this portion here and this portion over here, we click bridge and now everything is done but there was one issue. So if we have a little bit of a more weird geometry or let's say some other cuts into one of the objects, it was making it very, very hard to uh, do those type of bridges. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to use the cut tool to just create some cuts over here. Let's say something like that. And now if I have the same selection here and here and click bridge, you can see that uh, it creates a little bit of a weird geometry and something that uh, doesn't really work very well. But if we just grab the bottom part, use our snap tool once again and just snap it all the way to the top. Now 
you can see that it cutted the inner part and it created a perfectly good bridge, discarding the geometry and all the other cuts in between. Of course, in that case, here we have some vertices that are creating end goals that later on we need to connect somewhere. But overall, you can see that it did an amazing job and it was very simple and easy solution to create nice geometry for this bridge. Thank you for joining me in today's quick tutorial for modeling inside 3ds Max and looking into the Smart Extrude feature from 3ds Max 2022. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and see you next time.